Hello and welcome to your quick yoga flow. My name is Maria and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today I have a quick flow that can help you get your body up and moving uh, for a quick break, whether you're at work, whether you've been laying in bed all day, whether you're doing something else. This is just to give your body a little movement to get away from the stiffness that can come from sitting in the same position or being in the same position all day. So we'll move through a few variations here, but I'm going to keep it short so that you can get it done in a quick amount of time. We're not going to need any props today, just a mat or even a place to, <laughs> a place to practice in. Uh, you don't need anything else than that. So you can get up right off your chair, go to your floor, but we're going to begin in a standing position. I do recommend maybe taking your shoes off so you can feel your feet connecting a little bit more towards the earth. And in this mountain pose, keep your feet hip width apart or feet touching, whatever feels good. Lift your toes and then ground down with one toe at a time and then your big toe. And then once again, lift just your toes, leaving the balls of your feet grounded and then ground down through one toe as you at a time if you can. And then one last time. Lift your arms all the way up to the sky, fingertips reaching towards the sky. Big inhale here, breathe into the belly. And then on the exhale, start to bend into the knees. Shift the hips back just a little. Keep your gaze looking down as you start to forward fold, hinging at the hips, bending over your legs. Let your torso relax over your upper thighs. Feel free to bend your knees here as much as you need to. Let your body relax. Let your hands or fingertips be on the floor or option to grab opposite arm to opposite elbow. And maybe find a little rag doll here, shaking the head yes or shaking the head no, just to find a little loosening through the back of the neck as well. Try to pull your hips, your sitting bones away from your heels just slightly, grounding down into all four corners of the feet. One more inhale here and bend the knees, we'll slowly roll back up. First straightening out through the hips, and then the legs. And then last, the head comes up to avoid feeling lightheaded. From here, we're gonna lift the arms up overhead again, take a big inhale. And then on the exhale, bring your hands to heart center, palms together. Start to put your weight into your left foot and start to lift your right heel off of the floor. Start to lift your right foot, maybe slide that foot back, keeping it on the ground if you'd like, or if it's off the floor, feel free to just step it back into a low lunge. Feet are on two different railroad tracks here. If you lose your balance, it's totally okay. It happens to all of us. Once you're here, make sure that your hips are level. So maybe plug that left hip back. Try to lift that back right thigh up just a little bit more to get into that psoas and that hip flexor and squeeze your right glute. We'll inhale to lift the arms up overhead and then exhale to open up to warrior two. Move your feet around so that the front heel is intersecting with the back arch. Arms are at shoulder height, fingertips reaching towards either side, gaze past your left middle finger. On the inhale, we're straightening out through that left leg, both legs towards the front, but bring the toes out just a little bit into a 45 degree angle. And we'll come into a goddess pose, so bend the knees and sink the hips down as low as you can, coming into a almost sumo squat, goddess pose, horse pose, whatever you wanna call it. Stay here for one more inhale. Arms can be up overhead. Arms can be by your sides or at your heart space. Stay strong here. Stay strong through the thighs. And then on your next exhale, straighten out. Bend the left toes towards the long side of the mat. Turn the right toes forward, coming into a warrior two on the other side. Bend into that right knee. And then stack your heart over your hips and your head over your heart. So one straight line. And then gaze past your right fingertips Pull the pinkies back, shoulders down. One more inhale. And then on the next exhale, use that to pivot on the back foot, lift the back heel, coming into a lunge on the other side. From here, option to lift the arms up overhead. One big inhale if you do here, lifting the heart space up towards the sky, filling up the whole belly. And then when you're ready, bring the weight of your, bring all of your weight onto your left foot and then Lift that left leg behind you or just slide it up, bringing it up next to you. Don't put it down yet. We're going to cross it over the right knee or lift it up to cross over the right knee and then sit back into your hips for a figure four pose, standing figure four, chair pose variation, whatever you want to call it. And then on your next inhale, come back up. 
plant the foot and then slide it back. I'm gonna do that one more time. So open up to warrior two after that low or that high lunge and then come up into center. Have your toes be out 45 degree angle and sink down into goddess pose. Knees are directly over your heels or your ankles and then tuck the tailbone just a little bit but not too much. Stay here for one more breath. And then on your next inhale, straighten out and pivot towards, or actually, sorry, and then come into warrior two on the other side, bend into that left knee, arms out wide, shoulders back towards one another, pinkies back and shoulders down. And then pivot to a high lunge once again, lift up through that back right thigh, bend into that left knee, and then put all of your weight into that left foot as you slowly start to lift that right leg up, maybe keeping it up or just sliding it towards the front and then lifting it up and then cross that right ankle over your left thigh. Start to sink into your hips, almost like a chair pose, keeping your left leg on top of your left ankle and sinking back into your hips. One more inhale and exhale to straighten out, drop the right foot and then slide it back coming into high lunge, open up, goddess pose, sink in, inhale, and then exhale to come out of it, straighten the legs, pivot towards warrior two, gazing past your right fingertips, bending into that right knee, front heel intersects the back arch, pivot on that back foot, lift the heel, and then pivot, coming into a high lunge on the other side, and we'll slide that foot forward. Returning to mountain pose. Spread your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, and then start to bend into your hips, coming into a halfway lift. From here, option to drop the hands, maybe turn the toes out just a little bit to 45 degree angle, and start to sink your hips towards your heels. So almost like that sumo squat, that goddess pose, but your legs are closer together. And then try to bring it all the way down to your heels. It's okay if your heels lift up here, whatever feels good. We're looking for a little bit of a stretch through the inner thighs, the inner psoas, the inner hip flexors, and maybe the outer hips just slightly. Bring your hands together, palms to heart center, or option to keep your fingertips on the ground here. Either way, push your elbows into your knees, so your lower tricep to the inside of your knee and push the inside of your knee back in towards your elbow. So you're finding this activation, this opposition with both your arms and your legs. Maybe allows you, maybe that activation allows you to feel the stretch a little bit more deeply. One more inhale here and then exhale to bring your hands back behind your low hips and take a seat. And then bring your feet in towards your groin area. So we're coming into a seated position, whether that's your feet crossed or having one foot in front of the other, whatever feels good for you, whatever feels best. We're gonna round, we're gonna finish off the short yoga flow with a few just neck circles and neck movement. So drop your chin to your chest and then left ear to left shoulder, it doesn't have to touch. And then back to center. And then bring your ear over towards your right side. And then tuck your chin, bring your chin in towards your chest, back to center. Maybe using your inhales to open up and go to each side and using your exhales to come back to center, tucking the chin. Just two more times. on each side. And then do any natural movement that feels good, being careful not to turn the head all the way back towards the back, maybe just keeping that movement in the front like a little half moon or crescent moon. And then on your next big inhale, you're gonna squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears and use the exhale to help take the shoulders around and down and back, having the shoulder blades come towards one another and pulling the shoulders away from the ears as much as you can, letting all the air out. On your next inhale, big inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
and then exhale to roll them back around and down. And then one more time, feel free to use the biggest breath you've taken in all day today. To inhale, squeeze, breathe into the belly. And then roll your shoulders back around and down to exhale and maybe pull your belly button in towards your spine, squeeze any extra breath that you have in there. And that's it. So I hope that this quick, short yoga flow helped get you a little bit energized, helped get you out of whatever you're doing, or even just provided a quick little break for your day where you might not have all the time to squeeze in yoga. Feel free to connect this with any one of my other videos that I have that I have on my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Send it to anyone who you think might enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all of my new yoga classes. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. Sending love and light from my heart to yours. I'll see you next time.